Internet Explains channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, tap the notification bell, and leave a comment. In the last lesson, we have understood what a one-to-one -one function is. This time, we will deal with the inverse of that one-to-one -one function. The inverse of a one-to-one -one function is obtained by interchanging the domain and range of the given. That is, the domain of original function f of x is the range of its inverse, and the range of the original function is the domain of its inverse. So, x and y values are interchanged. Suppose this is the given function. Notice that since the given function is 1 to 1, then when we interchange the x and y values, that is, the original x values will become the y values, and the original y values will now become the x values. When we interchange these two groups, it will still be 1 to 1. Look at the arrows. That is, the inverse of a 1 to 1 function is also a function. So the concept is that easy. In symbols, given a 1 to 1 function f of x, the inverse f is denoted by this symbol, which is read as the inverse of f of x. To find the inverse of a 1 to 1 function, consider the following steps. First, express the function in the form y equals f of x. Second, interchange the x and y variables in the equation. Third, solve for y. And fourth, change y to the symbol of the inverse of f of x. Example 1. If it exists, solve for the inverse of f of x equals negative 2x minus 4. So the first step is to change f of x to y. So this equation will now become y equals negative 2x minus 4. And then interchange the x and y variables. So y will become x and this x will now become y. So we have x equals negative 2y minus 4. And then the third step is to solve for y in terms of x. So by APE, we will get 2y equals negative x minus 4. By MPE, by multiplying both sides by 1 half or by dividing both sides by 2, we will get y equals negative x minus 4 over 2. And by factoring, we may factor this further, although this may be our final answer already. But the numerator may be the common, uh, the common factor of the numerator, of the terms in the numerator is negative 1 times x plus 4. Okay, we have here negative 1 over 2. And since negative divided by positive is negative, then we may align that negative sign with the fraction bar. So in the numerator, again, we have x plus 4 over 2. And then the last step is to change this y to the inverse function symbol. So that is f inverse equals negative x plus 4 over 2. So, this function is the inverse of the given f of x. Okay, example 2. Solve for the inverse of g of x equals x to the fifth plus 24. Again, the first step, change g of x to y. So, y equals x to the fifth plus 24. And then interchange the x and y variables. So x equals, this x will now become y, y to the fifth plus 24. 
And then we are going to solve for the variable y. So by uh, by APE, we will get x minus 24 equals y to the fifth. This can be. And then we may rewrite this by interchanging the left and the right uh, hand side of of the equation. So we'll have y to the fifth equals x minus 24 by reflexive property. And then to solve for y, we have to eliminate this in uh, this exponent. So we will get the fifth root of both sides. So the fifth root of y to the fifth equals the fifth root of x minus 4, 24 will now become a radical. And then the fifth root of y to the fifth, of course, is y. So we have y equals fifth root of x minus 24. So that is the answer. All we have to do is to change y to the inverse function symbol. So f inverse or g. So let us let us erase that first for you not to be confused. Okay, we are going to to uh, we are going to change that to okay, let's use blue. So that will be g inverse is equal to fifth root of x minus 24. Let's change the color. Let's use violet. This is the inverse of the given g of x. Example 3. Solve for the inverse of h of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 3. So to solve for the inverse, again the first step is to change this h of x symbol to y. Because that will be the dependent variable. So y equals x squared plus 4x minus 3. What is next? To interchange the y and the x variables. So this y will become x and this x's will become y. So this now is x equals y squared plus 4y minus 3. And then we are going to solve for y. So uh, this will become um, y squared plus 4y equals x plus 3 by APE. And then we have, uh, we will use completing the square method. So in completing the square method, let us copy these first two terms first. y squared plus 4y. To solve for the third term or to complete this perfect square, we'll get the numerical coefficient of y so that is positive 4 divided by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then square it 2 squared is positive 4 and then since we added positive 4 to the left hand side of the equation we'll also add that to the right hand side so that is ape so we now have y squared plus 4y plus 4 or this is the square of the binomial y plus 2 uh, just review your um, completing the square uh, lesson. So equals, by combining like terms, we'll get x plus 7. Okay, what will we do? The goal is to solve for y. First, we have to eliminate this exponent before we eliminate this positive 2. So let us get the square root. So square root of y plus 2 squared equals also the square root of x plus 7 because what we do to the left will also do to the right then of course this will be cancelled what will be left is y plus 2 the square root of x plus 7 there are two answers positive and negative x plus 7 and then what is next so by ape next will be y equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of x plus 7. Okay, let us check if uh, if this is really the inverse of the given h of x. Uh, suppose 
x is negative 1. If that is negative 1, then y will be negative 2 plus negative 1 plus 7 is 6. And then there is another answer. Negative 2 minus negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So that's square root of 6. Since in 1x value, there is more than 1y value, that means this function has no inverse. Example 4. Find the inverse of the rational function f of x equals 3x plus 5 over x minus 1. To solve for the inverse, change this f of x symbol to y. So we have y equals 3x plus 5 over x minus 1. And then interchange y and x. This y will become x. Xs will become y. So x equals 3y plus 5 over y minus 1. And then to solve for y, we have to eliminate, we may eliminate the denominator first. By using MPE, let's multiply both sides by y minus 1. y minus 1, that will become y minus 1 times x. And then when we multiply this side by y minus 1, of course, this will be cancelled. Or let us write that also. 3y plus 5 over y minus 1 times y minus 1. Okay, this will be cancelled. This will be part of the numerator. And this will be 1 over 1. Okay, by using distributive property, y times x is xy or yx. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Equals 1 divided by 1 is 1 times 3y plus 5. That is 3y plus 5. Since the goal is to solve for y, then all uh, all terms with y's must be on one uh, one side only. So let's gather them in the right or in the left side. So x y minus three y equals x plus five by APE. And then by factoring, let's factor out y y times x minus 3 equals x plus 5. What will be next? We will divide both sides by x minus 3. To get the value of y, x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1. So we'll get y equals x plus 5 over x minus 3. And then the last step is to change this y to the f inverse symbol. So we have f inverse equals x plus 5 over x minus 3. So this is the inverse of f of x. So you have just learned how to get the inverse of a one-to-one -one functions. Until next time, 